like a bit of water, anybody? A glass or two of ever yeah? be the business story of, of the year. World trade and who benefits and who doesn't. My next guest is well placed to have a view as his company is at the heart of the global food and drink industry. Now, Danone operates in more than 130 countries. Its Evian water bottles are recognizable around the world. And today, the company says it's passed a milestone in the sustainability of its business. Its US division is achieving certification under the so-called B Corp program. What is the significance of this? And more importantly, at a time when, do when world trade is so threatened, we need to talk to Emmanuel Faber, the chief executive. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for welcoming me. First of all, congratulations Thank you. on getting the, uh, the, the, the moving forward. So, and you've, you've sort of changed the name of the US division from Danone Wave to Danone USA, which I suspect you all probably wanted to do in the first place, but couldn't uh, for logistical reasons But last year. But truth be told, we are at a turning point, a dangerous point in world trade at the moment. Would you agree? Uh, yes, I would agree. What do you see as being the risks here? Well, I, I think the, uh, the landscape is one that uh, the world is going to be more fragmented than uh, it used to be, than we hoped, our generation hoped to, be, to see it. The digital uh, um, uh, networks and social media is actually spreading news, but it's not uh, making the world any flatter. I think inequalities are mounting. I think uh, climate change is now a consensus for the new generation. Uh, they want to act on this, and um, I, the, the, the danger is that uh, the political fragmentation of the world is going to change the way businesses need to operate. And we're seeing even that today with the trade issues. Mm -hmm. U.S. versus China, U.S. sanctions uh, or trade tariffs on tariffs and trade. For chief execs like yourselves, doing business in these times becomes much more difficult. I think it becomes different. Uh, it becomes different because if we ever thought that one day the food business would be a global business, that there would be sort of unified supply chains, one-size-fits-all systems, uh, these are all illusions of the past. We know it's not going to work. We know it's broken in a way. We know if it's reached its limits. And I, I bet on the fact that a lot of things are going to go back to localizations. People want more local for many reasons. And the food system of tomorrow is going to be multi-local and not global. Does that create unique problems for large-scale food manufacturing such as yourself? Uh, when you're selling a bottle of Evian that is naturally pure, sourced from the French Alps, that is then schlepped across the Atlantic or across the Pacific, how do you square that circle? I square the circle in, in many different ways, including the fact that we need to take care of the sustainability of this. So this is carbon neutral. At the time at which we are holding this in your hands, Richard, it is carbon neutral. We have a business system that means that this is climate neutral. But this is Im important. Otherwise, I won't be in a position to continue to convince consumers of the next generation to continue to hold to this. The same way we are in agriculture, going for regenerative agriculture because the soils are losing fertility everywhere. The same way uh, we are looking at our One Planet, One Health ambition is about this. People want to reconnect with their food. How ingredients are made, who are the people behind the brand, and this is where the B Corp certification is achieving a huge milestone for us because it's an independent body that says that these brands, the people behind the brands, are respecting the highest standards of ethos in the way they look at the world and what the way they operate their business. Do you ever find that you have to make some very hard decisions on this sustainability question, because what's happening now, of course, is that there is a general acceptance of sustainability and principles, uh, whether it's under the, um, the sustainability development goals yeah. or whatever. There is a general acceptance. Yes. But sometimes as a, as a CEO, you have to balance that against profitability, shareholder and stakeholder interests. Yes, it's always a question of balance. And it's always a question of building the short, the mid and the long term horizons. I think we have huge examples around us of um, situations where companies have lost their sight of the long term, right. in no way invested in the short term, cost cutting all over the place, etc., and just lost their track. And I think this is participating in the loss of consumers in the trust that they place in the brands. Consumers need to understand 
that companies are not driven by making any profit at any cost, that they are here to serve their needs as consumers. I, I, I will leave you the bottle, by the way, but th this, is, this is fundamental. This is fundamental to the story. And this is where, again, this, the certification as a B Corp is bringing right. an outside element that says a lot about who the people behind the brand are. I'll tell you what. We've got another one over there. Have a bottle of water on us. Thank you, my friend. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, my pleasure.